Once you've revealed the leg, make sure you go right up to the top of the thigh, tuck the towel into the underwear, and apply the oil to your hands. This routine is very similar to the back of the leg, but it does also include the foot. So you apply the oil with long strokes. If you need to reapply, don't lose contact and apply to the areas. Okay. I'm going to do three to six of each technique, depending on client needs. So double-handed effleurages to the top, gently down the sides. What kind of Start off with a fairly gentle pressure, working your way up. Gentle pressure over the patella, and then firmer pressure up again. So movement number one is the double-handed effleurage, and gently down the sides. Number two, effleurage up the sides of the leg, Lift the muscle and very gently back. All the pressure up towards the heart and the lymph. Make sure you lunge so that your posture is good throughout. Link it to the next movement, which is single-handed alternate effleuraging. Here, your fingers are always facing away from you. And you work up and in towards the inguinal lymphatic nodes. So it's single-handed, alternate. Up, right to the top of the thigh, and in. Fingers facing away from you. You then link it onto the next movement, which is up, and then thumb kneading around the patella. Start above the patella, around the patella, and once you reach the bottom of the patella, gently push up the center and repeat. If your client has problems with the knees, you can work the area around and to the side of the patella. So you work the soft tissue, back round and gently up. You're then going to work the upper thigh and you do a variety of techniques here. You could do thumb kneading. And palmer kneading and knuckling. If you're short of time, I suggest you use both hands simultaneously. However, if you're not short of time, you may wish to support with one hand and thumb knead with the other. It's purely your choice and a matter of time that's available. So there's a sample of some thumb kneading. Do you want more or less pressure? More? If your client wants more pressure, I suggest you use pressure from your body, so you put your elbow into your body and you push in. Okay, so that's the thumb kneading. You could do knuckling, using your body weight again. I'm using a firmer pressure since it's my client's preference. And you do some palmer kneading as well. Using your palms, you knead the area. These are all 
petrissage type of techniques. Working all the way up the outer thigh also. You complete the upper part of the body by double handed pumping or lymphatic drainage movements up and into the lymphatic nodes which are the inguinal nodes. Push inwards, gently come back to the knee area and repeat. You should be able to see a slight dimpling of the skin and of the tissues underneath as you push up and in, always pushing in. So I'm going to do one more here. This is a really good technique to use on a client with cellulite or really sluggish circulation. Then we're going to repeat that same technique but to the entire leg, starting from the ankle up towards the inguinal nodes. Ease the pressure over the knee and up. Again, up and in towards the inguinals. There is very, very little pressure on the way back. All the pressure is up towards the lymph and blood. This movement's really good as well on the lower legs where clients tend to suffer from oedema, the water retention. Often seen in pregnancy or where clients don't move for a long time due to illnesses, uh, being bedridden or where they don't exercise adequately. I would do a few effleurages just to soothe the area before going on to the foot. Note I don't have too much oil on the area so I can really get into the muscle. I'm going to link this movement onto the foot. Where I'm going to do single handed alternate effleurages down and away from me. I'm going to work around the heel and around the ankle. your clients have got really dry heels, feel free to raise the client's foot up and massage the oil into the back of the heel. Then you will work between the metatarsal bones. Either side of each metatarsal, it's a simple push between the metatarsals all the way down to the tarsals. Press and push. Work from side to side. Note my elbows actually leaning into my body. That's where my body weight's coming from, my pressure. And then you work back again. To work the phalanges, grasp the big and the little toe together, thumb knead the root of the toe, the middle of the toe, really work the joints, especially if they're painful joints, then the nail area, 
gentle push, twist and pull away. Okay, then on to the next two toes, thumb kneading the root, the middle, the nail, push, twist and pull. Then you do the middle toe and the big toe together. Big toe gets done twice, known as the lucky toe. Down, twist and pull. Link this on to some nice palmer kneading on the sole of the foot. I normally do this standing so I can put my body weight into the client, supporting opposite your working hand so you've got something to push against. And then I would kneel down and thumb knead and you can do some knuckling on the sole of the foot. Do some knuckling as well. Spend as long as you want to or have time on the feet, especially if they're tired feet. And then we do some zone work. Thumbs either side on zone five and one. Come up, come off zones five and one and off. The same up zones two and four. And then zone three and one again. This stage you get up, more stroking on the foot and link it onto your final effleurage movements. Single handed alternate. I'm only going to demonstrate two for the moment. You would do anything between three to six. So single handed. double-handed. Remember you're getting gentler now because you're coming towards the end. And then up the sides and down the top. Remember to still cover the entire leg. Your final technique should be really fairly light. And link it onto some alternate finger stroking to finish off. Whilst finishing off, remember this is nice and slow, start to cover your client tuck your client's foot into the towel so it remains warm walk up the body and reveal the abdomen Tuck the towel into the underwear and reveal the abdomen all the way up to the ribs. Try not to lose contact, so walk down the couch, still maintaining contact with your client. Apply the oil, walk back up, not losing contact, and apply the oil. Apply all the way to the back and you're ready to start. You don't want to apply it by lots and lots and lots of li little techniques. You ought to be long, precise application, and then you're ready to go. First technique, fingers at the base of the navel. You come out around the oblique muscles, right to the back, your fingers should meet, and then you lift the client as if you're lifting them off the couch and gently back. It's a V-shaped effleurage. 
Again, three to six of each one. Your client should feel a stretch around her back. Did you feel a slight stretch? Then it's single-handed alternate effleurages. I'll take that back. It's single-handed kneading. First, the side furthest away from you. It's reinforced, so you have one hand on top of the other. And you lift the tissues and mold them between your fingers. So you really work the muscles of the abdomen. Work the side furthest away from you first. Did you want more pressure? Less? Give the option of less or more pressure to the client and then work the side closer towards you, swapping hands. It's always up and in. So it's up and in. Be careful that you don't hurt the client. Ease the pressure when you're on the top and more pressure down the sides. Then you should be ready for the work on the colon, on the large intestine, starting on the ileocecal valve, which is here on the client's right hand side. You place your palm of your hand on the ileocecal valve and it's reinforced pumping up the ascending colon. Keep an eye on your client's facial reactions to check for the pressure. Then across the transverse as if you're moving the food through the alimentary canal. Then pumping it down the descending colon and then down the final part of the sigmoid. Gently effleurage from the sigmoid to the ileocecal valve to repeat. Up the ascending across the transverse, down the descending, note that it's still pumping movement, and down the sigmoid. This movement will be followed by work on the same area but effleuraging. So using mainly the fingertips, effleurage the same area, up the ascending, Across the transverse, dragging down the descending and into that half sigmoid part towards the pubic area, which is the sigmoid. Okay. Finishing off by some nice effleurages again. We allocate five minutes for the abdomen, but if you have a client with poor digestion or digestive problems, I suggest you spend a little bit longer on this area. And when you complete, leave your hand on the abdomen, cover the area, and then reveal the arm. Remember your towel management, making sure your towels are placed neatly over your client and then you're ready to work the arm. You reach over for your oil, not losing contact with your client. And you apply to the area. The only time that the arm remains flat is when it's effleuraged. The rest of the time it's raised up somehow. First movements, lateral effleurages. So using your lateral hand on the lateral side, 
and using your medial hand on the medial side of the body. So initially you effleurage up the lateral side, around the shoulder, lift the trapezius, which is the soft part of the muscle, and gently back down. Remembering pressure up towards the heart, effleurage up, around, lift the trapezius and back. If you don't, if you can't access the shoulder, I suggest you tilt the pillow so that you can access the entire shoulder area. So lateral, lift, and in. Medial effleurages, up the medial side, 